Alrighty, what's going on boys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are on HSM SX Test Track by Eagle. Now this is his second release, I believe, on mods. Uh, he did release the Featherline uh, SX, I think it was. I have actually covered that in a video as well. So he's made two tracks before. Uh, as you guys can see, I do indeed now have graphics for this Yamaha, which is sick. So shout out Pax in the end. Pax actually ended up making these graphics. Made them in about a day, day and a half. So shout out Pax. Uh, I believe Matty's making us a Honda, Honda graphics or something like that. Um, I think Alex is going to be buying a Honda model from Dashback. Um, and then, yeah, Matty's going to be making some Honda graphics. But yeah, this Yamaha absolutely box. Got some Sonic gear on as well, kind of matches the exact colorway as well, which I didn't actually think it would, but it actually matches the bike kind of perfectly with the different color blue and a bit bits of red. If you want to be coached by someone that played at the first ever MX Plus land event, then click the MSP coach link in the description and book a one-on-one -on -one session with me now. Back to the video. Um, but yeah, sort of getting back into the swing of things, the whole YouTube swing of things. Um, get back to the daily video grind again and I miss Monday just because of uh, the MX and Nations but uh, yeah again back on the grind now and you've got Nations coming up on Saturday which I'm really looking forward to I'm not actually racing it uh, if you guys haven't watched my Nations qualifying video then definitely go and watch it uh, beat Dan but just can beat Tyler which I, I knew I wasn't going into it thinking I was gonna get the spot just more there for vibes like I do every year uh, every year I always get beat by one person I always beat the third guy and then obviously there's just one top guy in there but I mean we can't do that on purpose we obviously we want team GB to win so there's no point Cam, Linz, Tyler all fighting in the same position we spread them out between the three um, but this year no one wanted to ride the 250 so uh, I had to go against Tyler, Jake had to go against Cam and Linz um, and then it was uh, I was against Dan and Tyler and then I think it was Neon, Aqua it was a third guy, Neon, Aqua and Sam maybe in 250 I think it was um, but yeah so our team this year is Linz, Tyler and Aqua, really looking forward to it even though I'm not racing it, I just love watching the nations it's really really fun to watch uh, I believe it's Cupcake, B-Rod, and Narvo streaming. I could be wrong about B-Rod. I think it's B-Rod, but I know Cupcake and Narvo are doing it. This wall dance is very, very steep. It's like vertical. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to it. It is this Saturday. Uh, I believe it's starting at 4 p.m. EST. 4.30 p.m. EST. So about 8 p.m. for us UK guys. And then, like I say, about 4 for the Americans uh, e EST. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to it. It's going to be really, really good. US? I don't think US have a strong team this year. Nothing against Team US. Obviously, they're going to have... They have Rax, who obviously dominated outdoors. Chase, I believe, as well, who's very decent. And is it Splax on the 250 side? I'm not actually 100% sure. But I'll be honest, I think this is the year where Team GB can get it back. But yeah, I think Australia have an okay team. Belgium kind of just has Dylan, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and yeah, I'm not really sure of any other teams really that could dominate. France are okay, France have a decent team as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just just really looking forward to it. Racing is always really, really good. Uh, looking forward to getting the new Matty Basin. I was gonna get last year's GP Matty Basin just to practice with the guys. Um, but I'm just gonna wait, I think. I'm just gonna save the money um, until the new one comes out. Cause I'm sure people will get the new one and then wanna play that. So, yeah, I think probably just going to end up waiting until the new one comes out and then using that, I think. But yeah, getting back to the track. Very... Eagle does his super tracks very odd in the nicest way possible. I feel like the scaling is really, really weird. It's like everything's kind of different sizes. It's, it's, it's hard to explain. It's still like a flowy track, very quick track. Um, but I feel like everything is kind of different sizes. Like I feel like each rhythm gap is different and... You know, each jump and all that is different as well. But he does a good job on whoops. You know, they're not like super, super easy whoops, which is nice. So we've got a nice triple on, off, double, super cross triple. Everything's kind of like mellowed out. Nothing's really that steep. Okay, front end just dipped. Yeah, nothing is really like that steep. Everything's kind of mellowed out. We've got to hit everything really, really smooth. So we've got a nice triple here. Tight right hander into whoops, which is hard. That corner is hard to get a good drive for these whoops. Very, very tight corner. It's hard to sort of get some speed. Oh, God. Okay. Is that a turn track? Is, is that a circle track? I believe that's a little mini circle track. If you want to drag some elbows. 
See if we can launch this without crashing. It's so ver- I'm gonna go see how vertical that actually is. I'm really interested to see how steep this jump really is, because it like, pops you. Oh my word, that is vertical. That is literally, that is almost vertical. Holy. That thing is steep. <laughs> yeah, no wonder it's so hard to kind of clear it. It's literally a vertical wall jump. I don't think this is actual sand. I can't hear it as being sand. Got a nice little double here. Nice little S turn, front end wants to go. This rut's quite nice. Little roller into a nice tight 180 again. Into the roots, up to fourth. Nice double, down to second here. Set itself up for the corner, nice. Gonna triple on. Cough. I even slowed down for that as well and still over jumped it. And then nice triple as well. But yeah, I've, I feel like I've actually missed quite a few new tracks that have been coming out since going to Nations. Obviously, I went Friday morning till Sunday night. So I've actually got a few tracks we can do this week. So I've done, obviously, Huron's new one, uh, this one, and then tomorrow I'm going to be recording a new one that come out. Literally, I load up mods just before I start recording this and some new ones, a national track or something like that. So that'll probably be tomorrow's video, as you guys see in this. Um, and then hopefully there's a new track coming up by then, or I'll just try and get another Supercross lobby in or an outdoor lobby. Um, but yeah, just... Um, yeah, there's some stuff on mods for once, which is nice. The weeks are always the hardest. See if we can go over this. The weeks are always the hardest when there's no new tracks. That's when it's really, really hard. No, that's not one. That's when it's really, really hard to make videos, is when there's genuinely nothing to make a video on. Uh, it's a lot easier for... I'll use Troy as well. I feel like I always use Troy as an example. It's just because he's America. Um, but, for example, Troy can actually get pub lobbies for videos. Because, um, you know, NA down the game is primarily NA based public lobby wise. So he can, he has time to get up, record a video, like a public lobby race, and then edit it and stuff. If I wanted to do that all in one day, I'd have to wait till genuinely about 8, 9 pm to record a video, and then I'd have to spend like an hour or so, hour or two, editing and getting it, it all ready to go out. So that would be like 9 till almost midnight, or 9 till 11 almost, of just trying to get the video out whereas if I do it now like doing track review videos recording this about two o'clock because just took a dog out dog out for a walk so I'm back about two o'clock and then I can get this done in about half an hour or so and then yeah edit it and it's pretty much ready to go by this afternoon time like six o'clock ish but yeah if I want to say and do actual pub lobbies every single day I literally had to stay up till almost midnight every single day just trying to get pub lobbies really because pub lobbies in this game are really, really weird. There's either loads of lobbies up or there's nothing. Or there's loads of lobbies up on stock tracks or like Farm 14 and Polito and all that and then there's nothing. So it's really, really hard to try and do pub lobbies if you're from the UK which is why I feel like Linz doesn't really do pub lobby videos. I can't really do pub lobby videos. It's just really, really difficult to do if you're from the UK. Um, and they're just also harder to record because you never know how they're going to go. I feel like you can kind of get away with making little mistakes on these or if you, you know, forget what you're talking about or if you want to talk about something, you don't really have like a limited time. Whereas if a race is only eight, nine minutes long and you forget what you're talking about for about a minute or you want to lock in for a lap or two or whatever, that's just like two minutes of silence and then it's just, you got to cut that all out and then you miss part of the race. So racing is always harder to do like videos on. Um, but it's always preferred because it's just racing. Everyone loves to watch racing instead of just like track reviews. Um, but I'll be completely honest with you, track reviews are actually, for me, enjoyable to do because I get to just try loads of new tracks. I feel like pole lobbies are always on the same tracks. So if I just did pole lobbies every single day, every single video would be on the same track or I would literally just be riding the same tracks every single day, week in, week out. So yeah, that's why I just like doing some track reviews, but I understand that they do get a bit repetitive after a while. So I don't like to do them too much, but when there are tracks coming out every single day, you're basically going to get a track review every single day. Um, so there's pros and there's cons to tracks coming out every single day. I'd like to steer away from track reviews, but realistically there's nothing else to do in this game other than the track reviews, unless you just play the game for fun. It's really hard to find content worthy stuff from this game. Um, I can just hop on a two-stroke and run laps on a random track, but that might not be entertaining for a video, or I could, you know, play with a mate, just running around with a mate once again fun but not attending for a video so it's really really hard to sort of space things out fun and video 
worthy stuff in this game. Um, but yeah, I think that will do it from me. If you guys do want to get this track, it is completely free. I know it's mods. Eagle has done a fantastic job on this track. I kind of wish he would scale things up just a little bit. It feels more like an SMX-y, outdoorsy kind of track. Um, but yeah, picture you guys watch it and like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.